if uh, you put in the wrong windows into a building or the room is not uh, fit your personal needs. So VR is a technology where you can easily find mistakes. New technology, it's, it's very hard to bring into new companies because sometimes they have these old-fashioned ways to do things. My name is Rainer. I'm here today with my oldest and best friend, Reinhard. We started in 2015, 2016, when the first VR headset via a Kickstarter project from Lucky Palmer. VR is much more than just for gaming. We have so many use cases over the last 10 years where VR really makes sense. We started doing our own software because we find out the industry needs easy ways to use VR. I'm a master builder and I'm using VR to show my clients the houses and the design of the houses. So we do design reviews in VR. Coming from the AEC business side, it is so much expensive when there is a mistake. For example, if uh, you put in the wrong windows into a building or the room is not uh, fit your personal needs. So VR is a technology where you can easily find mistakes. New technology, it's, it's very hard to bring into new companies because sometimes they have these old-fashioned ways to do things, but it's always worth trying new technology, see what you can get out of it and what's the benefit from it. And being in a 3D model, being immersed in this virtual world, in the 3D space, you get so much more out of it before, in this case, especially as Reinhard said, before you build a building. You can find um, mistakes, you can discuss with all the people who are, who are building actually the building. And this is, um, you can save a lot of money when you do that first and use it as a communication tool in the, in the first stage of a building, in the planning phase. And also we have use cases like museums, in healthcare, for training, in the automotive industry, where you do design reviews in large environments and in the, in the whole design process. And yeah, it's, I think it's endless because we really need inspiration, how we can use VR, and then we are trying to make use cases. And this is always what my company does. And being able to check something like the reinforcement in the building with a civil engineer. So imagine if I'm uh, right now, I'm in Shanghai, but I could easily... Uh, meet with my client in VR using Rainer's software, and then we um, we walk through the virtual building. Uh, it's like a digital twin of the building, and we can check all the, the the stuff that's necessary, all the pipelines or or heating system whatsoever. The client can decide if I want the sink on this side or on that side. Where should the stove uh, be? Which colors? Which materials? And imagine uh, how, how flexible you are. Of course, uh, you always need to, to touch and feel something. But for the first review that you're like, okay, I'm, I'm happy with this color and with that color. So I want to do the design review with, 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 with my hands, with the materials. And we should never forget that VR is such a young medium. It's such a young device. You know, it's only about 10, 15 years. Of course, it started in the 90s. Then it went back, from, uh, it went back from the market and in 2014, 15, it came back. And now yeah, we have this new device and we really, all of us have to find out in which way we're going to use it in future, even in engineering. It's very hard for, to say, okay, engineers, now you have to try a new device because if you're not really by heart interested in it, in it then they are saying, oh, just another device, why do I have to do it? And then you have to convince them to try it, to use it, to use new technology. And I think this is the way our community has to, has to act in that kind of thing. We are talking so much about hardware, about resolution, about what's coming next, but we still have very, very good devices out there. We still have perfect computers. We have good frame rates. We can produce really good experiences. All we have to do is to show people and to say, okay, get out there and show VR to other people. Because a lot of people never had a chance to, to put on a VR headset. And, but still they have an opinion about it, you know? 
But you say, okay, VR, no, I'm getting DC when I use VR or whatever. Yeah, but did you really try VR? Yeah, I tried it 10 years ago with a smartphone and put it on my head and then I got DC. Yeah, it's 10 years ago. So much happened over the last 10 years. Also something what I find really hard is to promote VR. Right now we're sitting here, we're talking about VR and it's so hard to, to, to tell people how the technology works. You have to try it for yourself. So nobody can give you that experience with a, with a 2D video on a, on a monitor or something. It's, it's, it's simply not possible smartphones tablets they don't uh, or they didn't push uh, push the personal computer away we also have personal computers obviously but smartphones and other devices makes our life so much easier and i think it's the same with we are it's a new technology but it's not here to push other technologies away